Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel, the place on the internet where we make collage art. And today is sort of like a continuation of last week. So we flipped through a vintage life magazine last week and I pulled out a bunch of stuff that I liked. But the two things that we didn't get to last week were both of these vintage cars. So I pulled out these ads because they're just so cool and the cars in them were awesome. And I think there's a lot of potential to make something very cool with those. And I want to do something, I think, a little bit different than what I normally see with vintage car collages. I feel like a lot of times you just see someone throws a galaxy in the background and then the car is like driving in space. I get it. It's cool. I, I totally, it's trendy. I understand. But I think we can do just like a little bit better and something a little bit more creative. So that's what I want to do today. I'm thinking maybe we could do like a, some mashup of like a car, half car, half animal or fill one of the cars with plants or something. I feel like there's some cool things we can do that aren't just sticking out on a galaxy. But anyway, let us jump to the table and we'll start talking about ideas, flipping through books, and I'm excited to see what we can make today. So let's get to it. All right, here we are with our two cars. So like I said in the intro, I think one of these might have the potential to be like half car, half animal. And I think this one, it's uh, maybe has potential for if we take like the back half off, we could maybe put like a bear's butt or something with like a tail maybe, uh, and it could like wrap around. But we have to find an animal that's like the exact right size, sort of at a similar angle. I think that it's gonna be difficult to find but I would love to do that. Or even maybe we could chop the bottom, bottom half off and have the animal's legs down here or take the top half off and have an, the top half of an animal up here. I think that there's some interesting things we could do with this one, um, but we just have to see what animals we can find that sort of fit that. Now with this one, I was thinking we could maybe replace the family with something else. So like how funny would it be if this was like a family of cactuses. So we like replace the people with cactuses and they're like coming out the windows and that I just think that might, that might be funny or plants or mushrooms or there also is potential up here with the roof rack. Like is there something funny that they're holding? Uh, but I think the first thing would be to maybe replace the family with something. I think that because this one I think will be a lot harder to mash it up with something else just because of how extreme the angle is. So I feel like that might be difficult, but I do think that if we replace the family with something funny, that would be a good way to go. All right, our two cars are cut out. Wow, they look so cool. This is gonna be awesome. All right, I think let's start with this one um, because I, I don't know, I want to. And so let's pull an animal book out. All right, here are the two animals that I cut out that I think might work for this. So the mongoose, his back half, I think maybe he fits. I'm a little bit worried about figuring out where to cut the back half and how do I make that not look awkward. Uh, I, I'm a little bit not sure, but his front paw does actually fit, like line up directly where the tire is, so that might help help us tie it together. Another thing I could do is cut this sort of uh, leg area to slip that part behind. So this option is sort of like front 
uh, front part is the car, back part is the animal. With the armadillo, I'm thinking either top or bottom. My original thought was to cut this shell off and his head and to tuck the car underneath and have it like come down here, which, and then the head would flop over the car hood. I think that that would make the most sense and it would cover up these people. And so then it would really be half car, half armadillo. So I kind of like, I, I'm not sure. I think we really need to just cut these out and really look at them because I'm not sure which is gonna work. All right, I got everything cut out here. So let's start, let's move the armadillo off. Okay, let's start with the mongoose. And so what I did was cut right here on his arm. Well, no, that's his leg just to see if we could slide the car. Cause again, like I said, I don't want to cut anything off the car yet, just in case we decide to do a different thing. So let's see, sort of just flip that in and see what that looks like. So that I think looks cool, but is, um, I, it's, it's not reading super well, I don't think. It doesn't quite look like half car, half animal, and I think it kind of just looks like it's being swallowed up. So, okay, let's look at the armadillo because I don't think that this is super working. I think there's maybe stuff we could do, but it's not great. All right, so I have the whole armadillo here, but I did cut his legs, separated them from here, and I have his little foot if we need that. So with this one, I'm thinking the top gets replaced. So it would sort of be uh, like this. And then the armadillo's head comes over the top. Okay, all right. And then I was thinking maybe we could like replace his feet with the tires, which I think is kind of, I don't hate this actually. Um, I think we need to cut this a little bit more because it's not quite sliding all the way. So the illusion is a little bit broken. All right, there we go. Man, I, okay, I think this is cool. I love this. Wow, this is so fun. I think that he's so cool. What a weird mashup. I think that this is really cool though, and I'm into it. So let's say we're done with this collage because I think this is awesome. Okay, so let's talk about this car. So what I'm thinking, and as you can see what's around me, I have a bunch of cactuses, green things, leaves, trees, mushrooms, some flowers. I have um, sort of just, I pulled a lot of stuff that I had already cut out. And what my thought is, so I wanna replace the family, but then also because I cut out all these like leaves and stuff, I'm thinking we can add some stuff in the background too. So we can really create this like really jungle filled car. So it's really like the car is just like overflowing with uh, greenery. And I think that this cactus is probably gonna be the driver. Cause when I cut that out, I was like, oh, I think that that's actually perfect for covering this guy and the back, the kids in the back. So that's good. and. It, I cut the steering wheel out so it kind of looks like he's driving a little bit. And then I have a few cactuses that could be the mom, but I have two that have like, um, they kind of look like flower crowns. And so I kind of thought that that would be fun for her. So let's see what this one looks like. Whoa. So that's what that one looks like. That's pretty cute. How about this one? Oh, that's also cute. I mean, they're both good. I think maybe this other one's a little bit too big. It kind of is 
not it's not helping with the illusion that she's like actually in the car and she's a cactus whereas that one a little bit is smaller and it kind of feels like it fits a little bit more maybe so let's stick with that one for now I think that this is looking pretty cool. I think that we are, you know, basically done with this. Unless we wanted to add, hmm, maybe like a few more. No, there's already kind of a lot going on. The only thing I'm not super sold on is this cactus in the back. That's the only thing I'm not like super 100% like, yes, I love that. Wait, I have an idea. This might be crazy, but what if we can get it under one window? Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of finessing. So we have the bar between the windows. Okay, oh, oh, that's happening, okay, okay. Oh, okay, wait, that's something. I think we may have done it. That like really feels like it's in the car. That is cool. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm a little bit sad we didn't use any of these like long arm boy cactuses, but I just feel like they didn't quite work in the composition. I don't know, there's something, uh, they're tough to work with in a space like this. Hmm, and that's t I had a lot of them. We're gonna have to use these for something else because I have, I have a good amount of them, but all right, if we stop playing around and just take a look at this, I think that is pretty cool. My only question now would be, does this need a background or is it okay the way that it is? And I think that it, I mean, what kind of background would it have to be on that would not take away from the green that's already happening? Let me take a second just to think about the background thing. All right, this is the one background I could find. It was actually in between like the seam of a book. So it's possible we might be able to, you know, make this feel seamless and maybe the car will cover it up enough that we might be able, not be able to tell. I'm not sure. But I think the only way to see is if we uh, move the car onto this and I'm a little bit scared to do that just because of how many pieces there are. But I think that we should do it um, just to see. Okay, I wanna love this background and, and it is not bad. It's just the fact that, so the leaves are flat that are behind this car, so they're not there's no perspective on them. Like the car has perspective on it and this picture, like the background has perspective on it. And then the leaves are just like flat behind it. So I feel like this does not make sense and we should go back to the white background, which I know I just spent all this time moving it to this background and now I wanna go back to the white background. But I think that that makes way more sense. And okay, we need to move it back to the piece of paper. <laughs> These turned out so good. I like kind of can't even believe it. They're so good. This one is like, it is 100% my style. It's got the plants and everything and it's like aesthetically beautiful, but also because like the cactus family is driving, it's like a touch funny, which, oh my God, I just absolutely, this is like what I want all of my art to be and I'm so happy it exists. But also this armadillo car is like, is so much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were just going to find an animal's butt, slap it on the back, and it was, we'll call it a day and it'll be fine, but not great. But this turned out incredible, and I just am so happy these both exist, and I'm just like kind of in shock that we even created them today. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you liked watching these pieces come together. And I will see you next week for another, well actually no, next week is glue week. So I bought a bunch of different types of glue, different brands, different types, and we're gonna test them out because I'm still trying to figure out what glue I wanna use. And I figured we should just try a bunch, see which one is the winner. And uh, we'll make a little collage during that video too, just uh, in case you don't care about glue, we'll still make a little collage. We'll like glue it with the winner, with the winning glue. So that should be fun. And until then, take care of yourself and I'll see you later. Bye.